Hello everybody, my name is Roy Nemmer of MundoAlBislaste.com and welcome to another video. And this time around, we are going to talk about Javier Mascherano's Argentina under 20 team. They just won a friendly tournament in Uruguay and let's, let's get into it. Let's get into it. So the friendly tournament was the Copa Intendencia de Maldonado. It was held in Uruguay and Argentina under 20 coach Javier Mascherano picked the following players for the tournament. Federico gomez Gir, Francisco Gomez, Ulises Kiccioli, Tomás Kummer, Lautaro Di Lolo, Santiago Moya, Francisco Marco, Thomas Palacios, Roman Vega, Cesar Soler, Maximiliano González, Lautaro López, Julián Aquino, Axel Encinas, Agustin Rodríguez, Franco Mastantu Mastantuono, uh, Nicolás Maurio, Lautaro Ovando, Ignacio Maestro Puch, Lucas Besosi, Juan Gauto, Agustin Ojeda, and Mateo Sanabria. And out of all of those players, six of them were also part of the Argentina under-20 team, which won the Cotif tournament back in August. We did a video uh, about the, uh, the rise and fall and resurgence of the Argentina under-20 team. If you missed it, it's on YouTube. I'm going to post the link down below in, uh, in the description. But you can check out that video where we covered everything you would want to know about the Argentina under-20 team, including that tournament, including the Cotif tournament. So in regards to this one here, the friendly in Uruguay, Mascherano picked six players that were part of that Cotif tournament over to this one. And those six being Lautaro Di Lolo, Francisco Marco, Juan Gauto, Lautaro Lopez, Federico gomez Gürt, and Ignacio Maestro Puch. And uh, very interesting for, uh, for the goalkeeper, um, Federico gomez Gürt. he was actually selected by Argentina national team coach, Lina Scaloni, for the preliminary list uh, earlier this year, the first, first list. And uh, people had no idea who he was. The only thing was that he's a very, very tall goalkeeper. That's all we knew, uh, the man from, uh, from Tigres. So that's, what, that's all we knew about him. So he's, he's been selected. He's been selected. And uh, the tournament was a four-team tournament. So it was Argentina, Brazil, hosts Uruguay, and Uzbekistan. And uh, Argentina played three matches. The first one against Brazil. And uh, this was the starting 11. So Federico gomez Gürt, Ulises Kiccioli, uh, Lautaro Di Lolo, Thomas Palacios, Roman Vega, Agustin Rodriguez, Maximiliano Gonzalez, Axel Encinas, Juan Gauto, Ignacio Maestro Puch, and Lucas Besosi. And it was a 1-1 draw final. Uh, Ulises Kiccioli got the goal, the first goal um, of the, uh, the friendly tournament for Mascherano's team. It was a 1-1 draw. Uh, Brazil got a red card. And uh, I watched the match. Argentina played pretty well. Um, you know, not too bad for an opening match, especially against Brazil. Uh, not, uh, not too, too bad there. And it was one draw out of one for Argentina. But then came the two other matches. And that match was on uh, September 6th. So on September 8th, just two days later, Argentina played against Uzbekistan. And it was a 2-0 win for Mascherano's team. A convincing 2-0 win, it has to be said. And the, uh, the two goal scorers were Thomas Kummer and Maestro Puch. And uh, the starting 11 was Federico gomez Gürt, the goalkeeper. Thomas Kummer, Lautaro Di Lolo, Francisco Marco, Cesar Soler, Lautaro Lopez, Axel Encinas, Agustin Ojeda, Mateo Sanabria, Lautaro Ovando, and Nicolas Maurillo. And uh, like I said, a very convincing win uh, for uh, Argentina. Never really in doubt for, uh, for that one. So they were up and running. Three goals in two matches. One draw, one win. And then there was the final match against Uruguay against the hosts, and it was another 2 0 win, another 2 0 win for uh, for Argentina. And uh, Roman Vega of Barça Athletic, so the Barça the Barcelona youth team uh, player, he scored uh, the left back. He scored about two minutes into the match, and then the second goal. It has to be said was truly a thing of beauty, a very very well executed team goal, um, and that was scored by Lucas. Besosi, a great, great one, and a 2 0 win for uh, Argentina against Uruguay. And that one was two days later on September 10th. So the starting 11 for that one Fre uh, Federico Gomez Gürth, Ulises Kiccioli, Lautaro Di Lolo, Francisco Marco, 
Roman Vega, Axel Encinas, Maximiliano Gonzalez, Agustin Rodriguez, Juan Gauto, Ignacio Maestro Puch, and Lucas Pesosi. And that was enough to get Argentina the win. They won the friendly tournament in Uruguay. Two wins, one draw out of three matches. And I know a lot of people might be saying, well, it is a friendly tournament. Yes, it is. But you know what? That also means that since Mascherano took over the Argentina under-20 team back in January, he has taken part in three tournaments. So two, official, one unofficial, whatever way you want to spin it. The first one, uh, he finished fifth at the Toulon tournament in France. And that was up against teams that had older players, uh, one year or even two years older. So finishing fifth there in his first tournament, not bad, not bad at all. And that team had the likes of uh, Nicolas Paz of Real Madrid, Luca Romero of Lazio, uh, Alejandro Garnacho of Manchester United. So some big names there for, uh, for Argentina. The second tournament was the Cotif tournament, the one that they won. I mentioned that at the start of the video. And now this one. So you can tell that Mascherano is slowly building a base here for the team. And it's exciting because in just a couple of months' time, we are going to get the under-20, uh, the South American under-20 youth tournament, so the Sudamericano, uh, the under-20 tournament. And that one will be held in Colombia. And that's going to be from January 19 up until February 12. So Feb uh, January 19 up until February 12. And that's important. Why? Because that will serve as the qualifiers for the 2023 Under-20 World Cup, which will be held in Indonesia. So if Argentina can somehow manage to finish in the top four there, they will be at the Under-20 World Cup uh, next year. So some big, big news there, uh, very exciting news as well. And the reason why I say big news is because for a while, there was not much information to be found about the under-20 uh, tournament going on in, in January in Colombia. We couldn't get the dates, but doing some research, it looks like the dates are finally uh, finally announced. So keep your eyes peeled uh, on mundoalbusasi.com, on the YouTube channel here. We got a lot of stuff coming up, and we will be covering that tournament in depth. And not only the under-20 World Cup, knock on wood, uh, should Argentina qualify, but the tournament in Colombia in January and February. So keep your eyes peeled for that. If you like what you saw, hit the like button. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and hit that notifications button to be the first person notified as soon as a new video drops. Once more, my name is Roy Nemmer of mundalbislase.com and thank you for watching.